Welcome boys and girls, Zach is here, Yep. and myself, Ray, and we're gonna start the next video by showing you guys the upgrade system for Metal Gear Rising. We have plenty of BP. We do, we don't have as much as you could have if you were maybe playing on easy on nor or normal, um, but, you know, we're playing it hard. And that's part of the game. It's part of making it harder. We don't need to upgrade anyways. You have the pairing system down. Who cares about the upgrades? It's true, but you do want to... I do... I want to make it a point to upgrade your strength and everything for the weapons that you're going to use. I am plan on using the Le Estrange, or whatever the arm thing is called, uh, a lot. And obviously, you use the sword a lot. So I'm going to upgrade both of those every single time I have the opportunity to. Also, I'm going to upgrade the move set so that we can have more combos and moves, and that's all. Of, uh, that's all we can really buy right now, unfortunately. Yeah. We're broke. We are broke. We're not completely broke. We're pretty broke. Um, if you have the money left over, I would say go ahead and buy some life so you can upgrade and live longer. But not completely important. It'll be just fine. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. Adios, amigos. ¿Viste? Qué raro, eh. Hay que hacer que no lo vimos. Vámonos ya. It's Raiden. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. So how do you feel about black alligators, Zach? I don't know. 
All I know is I love the cutscenes in this game. Do you? Yes. The giant sombrero. black sombrero yep. and Perfect. the poncho. Perfect. Totally gonna blend in. They're gonna think I'm one of them. I think Raiden's a bit racist. Cutscenes are so funny. They are. I, I like that, you know, Metal Gear Solid has, you know, very serious overtones. And this game is just like, yeah, we're just gonna be we're a little silly. A little, a little bit ridiculous. Yeah. We little have platinum a, games humor in we there. We have a buddy with us. Is, that's the, that's, that's our best friend. That's the black alligator they're talking about, the urban legend. We're gonna mess him up too. So these guys are more like gorillas. They're big, they're strong, they'll mess you up if you are They have very they tiny have penises. Points. They, I, do they? Gorillas do, yes. Oh, well, I didn't know that about gorillas. I don't study other animal genitalia. <laughs> that's the only thing that matters, Raymond. Oh, okay. Don't you want to compare sizes? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm comfortable with what I have. <laughs> But uh, these things have two basic attacks. They've got that thing where they're going to make you wiggle your left stick. You gotta do that really fast and really hard, otherwise they're gonna mess you up. You can also carry the red attacks. And then you can do uh, this. He's dead. And um, you, uh, yeah, I mean, completely sliced up. I couldn't even, like, completely un explain what I wanted to explain before he was dead. I, well, I was distracting you with talk of gorilla penises. That's okay. What could I, you know, gorilla penises hey, are- Hey, it's an fun. S. I did get an S. I want to get past this red wall. It won't let you. Yeah, there we go. Now we're past it. <laughs> Stupid red wall. It wanted you to look at that S. It did. I'd appreciate it. I, you know, I think this is funny. I just spent like two seconds <laughs> destroying a gorilla, but box. just that one corner of the crate is all I can manage uh, to damage there. So now in this room, there are two of them. We're gonna sneak attack both of them because we think fighting one is hard, fighting two is even harder. Why waste time when you right, can just exactly. do like a two hit kill done? Exactly. See, this is this is the kind of things we want to be teaching people, not to just run up into a room and. Unless that's what you want to do. Yeah, if you want to, and you certainly you certainly can. It's fantastically fun. I one I slice through the stomach. It. But yeah, I actually had to fight these guys man, face the to face right the first time. Because, uh, actually, he gave me some crap there. He said, that's the ride, and I know, you know, being sneaky and stealthy like you would in a Metal Gear game. But in, in when I was playing by myself, I messed up. They saw me and had to fight them both. Tough fight, it was. And he was like, I thought you said you were sneaky, Raiden. I was like, man, shut up! I don't tried! Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> this isn't the same kind of game. VR mission! <laughs> Yay! I don't think we're going to show any VR missions during this walkthrough. I don't think it, um really benefits or adds to yeah. the overall game uh, as far as showing you how to play games. But if you uh, own the game, I totally recommend doing them. And uh, we got so we got the VR mission, we did a little circle. Circle back where we were. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta now we're gonna down go this. down this hole. I love that move. It reminds me of a Ninja Turtle kill that I had fence. when I was a kid. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. Right. Aww. He's so, running away. There's tripods back, and like they always are, they're very annoying. I want to catch this tripod before it alerts anything else. Would it alert anything other than more tripods? I think if you let it run away, it might alert somebody up further. Uh, I don't know that 100%, so I'm just going to try to stop it no matter Be what. cautious. Right. Nothing wrong with killing things that annoy you before they get more things that will annoy If they go you to more. hug you and you throw them away, do they die every time you throw them? I think they kind of explode, and if they don't, I'll just cut them back. I'll cut them up when they come back. There's three more. There's three more up there, and I'm going to mess them up. So this is the part where I took out the arm thing, and I'm and, just... And, uh, yeah, it destroys it them. Just, it just is so easy, and it makes it so satisfying after just... Uh, no damage. An S. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, that's not hard to do, because they don't really right. hurt you. <laughs> but... <laughs> doesn't matter. We're going to go over there and grab that grenade real quick. What were you going to say? I was going to say, say that uh, it's still no damage. You can feel good about it. Okay, I will. Thank you. You I'm have two of them now. Ooh, yay, me. Chop down this fence. It's just giant steel structures of no strength against me. It's crazy.
Are you ready to fight three giant T-Rexes? Not actually giant. They're a little but... bit derp. Um, George is awesome though. I like George. You like George? I do. He's a pretty cool kid. I thought he was a Mexican kid at first. He's not. He's not racist. Mexican. He's not. It's... And you even said it's not racist. They're in Mexico, and we, then they you know, the says thing. I'm not. He's, he's a little kid in Mexico. I would just assume he's Mexican. I don't think he actually told us that he's not Mexican yet. Because it has. We haven't had the actual opportunity to talk to him. Oh, spoilers. But, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It's time to mess up the T-Rex. That's right. Just two of them in the air at once. We've only got one left to go through. I, and really, you can all thank the parrying system. It's just that one on the ground over there that's just like, yeah. The game doesn't understand the murder that I did, so the body parts are like still hanging in the air. I was so good, the uh, game didn't know what to do. I love that move, the spinning on your back, flailing around. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. He just hit me. Yeah, he did. It took 10%. The, the purple bomb thing is very annoying because it stuns you and allows you to be hit very easily by them. Uh, so if I were to run away from that, I wish there was like a rolling dodge-esque move. He kicked me in the face, that's sure. But there's not. You've got to run from it. And then once you uh, parry them well, like I just did there, you, you can rip out the face up. And then bam! You cut up both the T-Rex and the tripod. Deliciously satisfying. I love it. Where'd that now? The there's, 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 there's the piece. There's it's alive. One, there's one more trying piece. to live out the it's, rest of its days. It's still technically alive, so I can't just let it do that. I need to. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what the heck's going on the ride and likes to swing in the air. I keep hitting him farther and further away from me, so it's a little annoying. I have to keep on stopping there the attacks. Well, the tripod's still alive, except now. Now it's not. So there we go. Got another fight. Done, out of our way. Got a B, not an S, but I'll accept you it. You took damage this time. I'll take a B. That's a problem. <laughs> Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. My name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all them America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunta Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them Skunt, nah? No, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a big old dirty container. Next thing we know, we're here at the zombie lab. All kids? Like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them skunt wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. You shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man. Same as you. <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. Me tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. 
If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of that technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. They're harvesting children's organs, Zach. They're not gonna harvest George's organs because we saved George. We did save him, and then we left him. We did. They're not gonna make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Is there some way we can sneak past, Zach? No. You don't think there's a single way we can sneak past? No. What about a cardboard box? It's... It's a box. How's that gonna help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. So, Zach, I'm assuming you've played the Metal Gear Solid games? Nope. Really? Why are you even here? So... This is a you know another little uh, nod to those games, walking around in a cardboard box. See, but the thing in this game is these cyborgs can't see you. These specific cyborgs can't see you if you're in the cardboard box. They can see you though if they run into if the box. If they walk right up to um, you, yeah, they're gonna mess you up. And unfortunately, I didn't know that at the time. Yep. So that's what's gonna happen in a couple of seconds. I was wondering if I could possibly jump on that guy's head. Uh, from the box. Can you be moving in the cardboard box when they're looking at no, you? No, if you're moving, they will be like, why is that box moving? Let's kill whatever's Let's in there. Let's kill that box. <laughs> but I wanted to see if I could get this guy from oh, the box. Oh, hello there. And yeah, can't do it. Gotta fight all three of these guys. But, you know, oh, now, fell down. now you guys get to see me fight three of these guys at once. And see my awesome skills at video games. And, uh, proud of that. So... These guys are very annoying when there's three of them, but as long as you keep parrying and wiggle that left stick like you've never wiggled it before, you're gonna be okay. Um, if you don't... See, so you wiggle the left stick really, really quickly. I do. If you don't... Oh, I, in, so quickly, I, in fact, you uh, go to the PlayStation menu. <laughs> My bad. Um, anyways, if you don't... Uh, get that timing right with the left stick, they will do some ridiculous amounts of damage to you. So you really want to make sure you get that. Also, if you get the opportunity to do some Natsu mode, do it. Uh, unfortunately, you can only cut up the parts of them that are glowing blue, mm -hmm. So, but you still damage the rest of them. Well, he's trying to knock you out. He was! Someone kick him in the face, though. No big deal. What do you know about that, Chowdy? Huh? I'm not sure. You don't, you're not sure about what you know? I'm not short. Oh, you're not short? I'm oh, shouty no. doesn't mean that you're short. This guy's too I'm tall. I kicked this guy so hard into the air that I couldn't <laughs> deal any more damage to him. It was messed up. It made me angry. Uh, but he's, he's pretty much dead as of uh, now. now. Right there. There he he's, goes. Uh, he's dead. so dead that you didn't even have to go into blade mode. You just, nope. You just Drop down That's right. I, th I probably could have gone into blade mode to cut him up, but I was I don't want to focus on one guy when I got two guys doing this crap to me. He's trying that move again. He was. Same he, result. He should know that it's not going to work. They have gotten lucky on me before doing that, though. So. Did they knock you out and then you uh, drop into the sewage water and drown? No. Okay. It does a lot of damage, though, like I said. Boom. Perry, you just drop kick. Fell on his Who face. Who do you think you are? He's a gorilla. Is that what he yeah. thinks? Do they actually think they're gorillas? What do they is, think? I think. Well, they're they're fighting pretty well. I think they think. He does not think anymore. Well, just his arm does. He's, the rest of it can still think. I chopped up his arm into like little deli meat slices. Now I'm hungry. Go make me a sandwich, Zach. I'm just supposed to eat his arm. I'm not gonna eat his arm. That's just disgusting. Cook it. Just it's cook like it. a cyborg arm. Safe. You have not tasted a cyborg arm before. I have it. You're right. I should not be afraid to try new things. Just take a bite out of a cyborg's arm. <laughs> <laughs> Zandatsu cutting up both of his arms and I think one of his legs as well. He's basically he's done. Yeah. So that's that's nice. And we've only got one more to go. Unless I got him too. I did. Oh. I cut them both up. Well. That's how awesome I am.
I suppose I don't have to we simply lack the self-control to not we, talk over people. We do. So, uh, one of the things is every single object you see in this game is just breakable. And you can collect coins. If, you're, if your health is damaged, you can collect health from them. I'm not gonna do all of that. I'm not gonna